14 titles of the awaited Messiah. Why the Messiah had to suffer and die. Hypothesis The several Hebrew titles of Messiah, taken together, reveal that he would have to suffer and to rise from death before he could come in power and glory. When Jesus was on earth, demons recognized him as the awaited Messiah. Ha! What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Later, Jesus' disciples also recognized him as the Messiah. We have believed, and have come to know, that you are the Holy One of God. Still, neither demons nor humans understood that the Messiah had to suffer and die before he could return in power and glory. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, Far be it from you, Lord, this shall never happen to you. None of the rulers of this age understood this, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. In order to conclude that the Messiah had to suffer, one must review all of the references to Messiah in the Hebrew Bible, the Old Testament. Here are 14 messianic titles revealed in the Hebrew Bible. Please find which ones speak of Messiah's death. 1. Anointed Messiah The Lord will judge the ends of the earth, he will give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. 2. Branch, shoot. I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. 3. David, son of David. The children of Israel shall return and seek the Lord their God, and David their king. 4. God To us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God. 5. The Holy One you will not abandon my soul to Sheol, or let your Holy One see corruption. 6. King Behold, your King is coming to you, righteous and having salvation is he humble and mounted on a donkey. 7. Lord The Lord says to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, until I make your enemies your footstool. 8. Lord Yahweh The Lord will go out and fight against those nations as when he fights on a day of battle. On that day his feet shall stand on the Mount of Olives. 9. The Prophet The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me, from among you, from your brothers. It is to him you shall listen. 10. The Righteous One By his knowledge shall the Righteous One, my servant, make many to be accounted righteous, and he shall bear their iniquities. 11. The Ruler From you shall come forth for me, one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from of old, from ancient days. 12. The Servant Behold my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights, I have put my spirit upon him, he will bring forth justice to the nations. 13. The Shepherd my servant David shall be king over them, and they shall all have one shepherd. 14. Son, Son of Man 
Behold, with the clouds of heaven there came one like a son of man. Conclusion As the righteous one, the servant of Yahweh, the Messiah would bear the iniquities of many. Then Yahweh would keep his Messiah, the Holy One, from corruption in a grave. The prophets searched and inquired carefully, inquiring what person or time the Spirit of Christ in them was indicating, when he predicted the sufferings of Messiah and the subsequent glories.